like this. <laughs> Today, I am going to a center for children with Down syndrome. So from what I understand, it's the biggest center in, in the Middle East for uh, children with Down syndrome. And um, obviously Down syndrome is not something you can cure, uh, but you can help children, you can help them learn, you can help them have fun, you can help them uh, make friends. Um, and I know that because my little brother has Down syndrome and he's the, uh, the best little guy in the world. He's uh, the happiest guy in the universe. Um, and um, I love him to death. So that's why I want to go to this center and I want to see how I can help them. I can just maybe give a background on, on me and my little brother before I go there because uh, I haven't spoken a lot about my little brother on, uh, on my social media before. But uh, my little brother was born um, with the Down syndrome. He was also born with um, a heart disease, a heart um, um, failure, you can say. It's called Falloa. It's like a, he had holes in his uh, heart, uh, actually very, very severe. Um, it was fixed early in his life when he was very young. Actually, when he was just, I think, a little bit more than one week old, uh, he was immediately uh, taken into surgery um, to, to make surgery on his heart, which is absolutely insane. It's, it's, uh, imagine a small little child and, and you're making a surgery on the heart. It's absolutely crazy. He had two heart surgeries. He was affected by cancer twice. He had uh, leukemia, a very severe cancer. Um, and it's very rare that you get it at all and he got it twice, two different types of leukemia. These are severe diseases, so the fact that he, he actually is here today, is, um, it's a, a little bit of a miracle. So my little brother is really um, a little hero and he's a miracle and he is um, absolutely amazing. Um, the crazy thing is that what I said right now, that's not even enough. He also was born with a lymph angioma. Um, it's a big... Um, like cyst you can call it on his leg um, and usually they it's actually common that uh, children are born with them but usually they grow grow smaller as the child grows but my brother it grew with him and it became so big that it was a huge hassle for him so not only was he mentally disabled but he was now also physically disabled uh, because of his big uh, lymph um, cyst on his leg so he needed surgery for that uh, usually one surgery should be enough and then it's gone but um, uh, the surgeries were not successful so he had more surgeries and another surgery and another one and they were never successful um, many doctors came in from different countries and tried to um, figure out how to solve his uh, physical um, lymphagioma and it, I think it was 11 surgeries it took almost a decade to solve that and he had a huge um, uh, a wound on his leg that was not uh, healing because after after a few surgeries your um, your your skin dies he was even sent to other doctors uh, in the in like burn victim doctors because they it was such a big issue with the skin so they needed like extreme specialist on skin and then it took so much time and eventually over time it actually got worse and worse but then um, today He's 18 years old and he's all fine, all good. Um, heart is fine um, and uh, cancer is gone. Uh, his leg is good. I, I don't think there's anyone out there that had so many diseases in one little guy like that. It's absolutely mind blowing. But yeah, if we focus on the Down syndrome side of things, yes, his mental um, capabilities are, are lower than average because it is a mental um, um, deficiency in a way. But the, the thing is, it's more about the IQ side because there's more things to, to your mind, right? And, and to, to my little brother and other people with Down syndrome, their emotional capabilities are very, very high. Meaning that my little brother, he can look at someone's face and he can immediately sense how this person is feeling. Um, he, he has this uh, sense of emotions it's, it's really um, incredible how he can feel and see how you feel. He's very sensitive also, so if he sees someone fighting, then he gets immediately very sad and angry and, and uh, like he, he starts crying. But on the contrary, if he sees people are happy, he becomes super happy. You know, if people are looking tired around him, it affects him as well and he gets tired. Like, he, he, he's very sensitive to emotions and, and, um, 
and uh, these kind of things. He uh, he has this um, special ability to to sense emotions way higher um, than average uh, humans. You know, so intelligence slightly lower, emotional intelligence slightly higher. Um, so there are pros and cons with Down syndrome. Um, another big pro is that um, he can make anyone happy. You know, like that's the craziest thing. Like he, even if if someone in the family was ever sad or, or had a bad day, as soon as uh, my little brother comes home from from uh, school or from from anywhere, everyone gets happy and like he's such, such a joy. You know, he's like very um, uplifting. So. Um, in our family, we always call him our little um, uh, love battery. Like you, you just plug him in, and like now you're happy again. <laughs> like you, you get this little bit of dose of love, you know, because he he will come up to you, he will hug you, and he will um, um, you know say nice things, and uh, he always gives compliments. Like he says, "Oh, Carl, you're the best brother," and he will say to to our mom, "Like you're the best mom, you're the best dad." Like he's always like um, he likes to give compliments and um, very loving. So let's just say that I think the pros they they outweigh the cons, <laughs> but um, it depends on how you look at it. Because of course the downside of having Down syndrome is that um, it's very tough for him to have a normal job. Um, and it's tough for him to live life independently. And then there is different degrees. Some people with Down syndrome, for them it's very easy to be independent. Uh, and some of them are uh, have very low success of being independent. So Down syndrome, it, it varies a lot between individual from individual. Uh, my little brother um, is getting more and more independent, but I don't think he will ever be fully independent. So he will always need someone to assist. Um, of course, he has uh, uh, his family. We all love him so much. He's lucky to have us because, of course, we will, we will help him. Uh, but I think there are other children out there in the world that don't have support from their family. And then these children definitely need centers like where I'm going today because this center is in place to help these children um, to, to assist them, help them to get more um, independent, to help them have friends, um, to um, give them skills uh, and prepare them for a potential job, a, a work life, because that's the goal um, for, 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 these, um, for, for this center specifically. They want these individuals to get out there and get an actual job because that's how they can become independent, get more free and um, have a more um, rewarding life. Yeah, that's the backstory. That's where I'm going there today to see how I can uh, how I can assist this um, center. I want to give them some money, uh, but they have to tell me what it is exactly that they uh, they want and need to help the children. I have already uh, given a hundred thousand dollars to um, another organization that are looking for a cure for a very severe skin disease called EB, um, and. Um, and that, that was very important for me because I know that those children, they suffer a lot and the, ch the, the families suffer a lot. Um, I can talk more about that in, an, in another video maybe. But yeah, so my charities that I'm doing so far has always been focused on children with disabilities and that's what I want to continue to focus on as I have first-hand experience with children with disabilities because my little brother is a very good example of that. What you need to understand is that these disabilities, they affect the child, but they also affect the family because the whole family, um, you know, my parents, they had to basically live in the hospital. Like we're talking thousands of hospital visits, like days in and out, in and out, weeks just staying in hospital. So that affects the parents. It also affects the, the other children in the family. Um, so it's, it's a disease not only for the child, but for the whole family. And that's why I think it's important to help these families uh, and the children. So I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Very nice. Thank you. Come and see this. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let us see. Hello, this is Mahmoud. Hey, how are you? Okay. Nice to see you again. Excellent. Yes. And wow. That's crazy. This is, this is <laughs> That's insane. We've been working since morning. He's doing wow. everything with us and he tried to write it. It's nicely. very beautiful. 
Wow, good job. Very nice. So will you teach, me, teach him how you make that? We have to teach you the, our like secret. This? Then, ah. then. <laughs> ah, nice. This is insane. This is very beautiful. Good job. He's my favorite. He's such a good. Yeah. Everybody has a certain thing. Yeah. Rashid. Now they, you know they have to, to they have to be clean yeah, and yeah, neat. Yeah. So he's wearing his gloves to mm -hmm. show you how he will make the napkin. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> Special for you. Very nice. Wow, that's a nice surprise. Amazing. I think the art now. The artist. Oh wow. The napkin, very nice. the napkin is very light for them, so we yeah, have yeah, to yeah. them in this so they can control. Oh wow. Professional. <laughs> wow, Rashid. Wow. Very good. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> yes. Good job. Very nice. Job. Very beautiful. <laughs> We like it now. You yeah. Know. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to come to Russia to teach you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And Abdullah is making, he's, he's yeah, preparing the table. Show. Yeah. So Abdullah, thank you for being so good. How are you doing? You good? Good, yeah. Nice to see you. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Very beautiful. Abdullah, okay, let's see. Yes. Oh, wow. Perfect. Completely straight. Nice. And Abdullah is our photographer, so he was taking a lot of pictures for us. Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect. You want me to push with you? Wow, look at that. Very good. You guys have to teach me. Such a beautiful kitchen. It's very nice. Okay, show me. Very nice. Thank you, Look at that. Perfect. Very nice. Good job. Good job. We are teaching them to do. Uh, a small, easy thing, yeah. so they can create their own recipes. Okay. So now they are teaching them, the chef teaching Idris, how to make the things with the salad. Wow. And Rashid is doing this, everybody has to go, and the last thing taking off the white locusts. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, go in. Okay, perfect. How are you? Hey. Everything good? Hey. Uh, what's your name? Idris. Nice, Carl. Okay. Nice to meet you. What are you cooking? Chicken? Yes. Chicken and uh, some chicken sauce. Yes. Okay. Very nice. We are teaching them how to do the dressing. Caesar salad. Mm, okay. And he's making the yeah. chicken for the chicken Caesar, for the Caesar salad. salad. Yeah, chicken for Caesar salad. Amazing. Chicken for, uh, for cheese. This okay. uh, crane caramel for, for the uh, cheesecake. For, uh, for, uh, the cheesecake? No. We are making Just, different uh, flavor with the cheesecake, teaching mm, them. Yeah. Because we want them to learn very easy recipes, mm -hmm. they can handle it. So later on, when we do everything in the kitchen and mm -hmm. it's ready, they can produce and have an income for them. Okay. So we can teach them how to do their own things and try to sell and, you know, feel they are doing something for That's themselves. Good. Feeling productive. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, That's exactly. very good. So we decided so, yeah, we to make the, the other kids who's here yeah. to, to make something, you know, yeah, just yeah, not yeah. sitting without anything. Yeah. So create this four days course for them. Mm -hmm. So they interact and do things and feel, you know, yeah. they are creating That's things. That's nice. Yeah. I have to bring my little brother next time. Yes, yes. Yeah, why not? That would be cool. Definitely. Yeah. How old is he? He's 18. He just turned 18. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. yeah please do yeah. that. We will have fun. We will teach him. Arabic food, how to mm. do, and we can have a lot of things. Yes, definitely. Very I think it will be very happy to see him also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would be very cool. He wants to show you the medal he won. Oh, yes, I saw on Instagram. He won. Wow. You, uh, so this is um, uh, for the bougie, right? Bougie. Bougie. You want the silver. That's amazing. Good job. You have to. This you have to show me because I actually I never did this myself. And 
Let's show this very close. Look at this, guys. This is a, a proper bougie uh, player. That's how you say it, bougie, right? Yeah. Yeah. You you show us later, yes? Mm -hmm. Or next time you come, maybe. Yes. That'll be very cool. Very nice. And this? It's also bougie. Yes. Yes. Mm. Very cool. Special Olympics. Very nice. Good job. And this also? Very cool. Athlete. Amazing. Special Olympics. Yeah. 2023. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Good job. Mahmoud. Very good. Good job. Very good job. Nice. My little brother, he also has some of these. So when he comes to Dubai, I'll, uh, I'll tell him to bring and. Uh, Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Like this. <laughs> Do you mind if we take with you a group? Yes, that, let's. We are all volunteers. I'm an Emirati chef. Mm -hmm. I have programs in the TV and mm -hmm. social media. Mm. But this is my favorite time. Yeah. It's just, you know, you go out. Wallah, believe me, I go out. Yeah. I want to kiss everybody from happiness. Yeah. I feel. <laughs> For a week yeah. that I'm flying, they yeah. give me such an amazing yeah. energy, and they become part of the family. Yeah. Finish. And we were discussing with the doctor. You know, they will know if you are pure and you mm. love them and you want to mm. work with them, or <laughs> or of you coming only for photos. Yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs> Very nice pictures. Very good. Uh, so he's your, your brother? My little brother, yeah, yeah. I have. So you understand? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you my little brother. Please. Um. Mm. And you, you spend time with him? And yes. You... I put my brother on. Uh, I'm a Formula 2 sponsor. And I, I put him on the car. <laughs> God bless you. You are doing yeah. amazing. Wallah. Yeah. yeah. You are amazing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I explained to my audience also that like there are pros and cons. Of course, um, there, there are certain cons, but the pros are also big. The, the emotional, the, uh, the emotional intelligence is uh, even us. higher than uh, than More us. Than yeah. us. Yeah. More than us. Yeah. Exactly. But you need people to understand. And what you yeah. are doing, you are. Uh, giving your audience mm. ideas yeah. so at least they will understand yeah. their situation you yeah. know so god bless you yeah. amazing yeah i've noticed my little brother he can see in my face if i'm sad if i'm happy if yeah. i'm angry like immediately you know Mahmoud, since yeah. i come today he yeah. said what's happened yeah. i said yes something happened yeah. and we will start talking you yeah, know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 they, they same with my little they brother feel, yeah. they feel you yeah so god very sensitive yeah. they are <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. One thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to to buy some uh, some instruments because I know that my brother he loves music. Oh my god! So this if, is amazing. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, of course. There there are there are simple instruments that that are they not can, so complicated. Can, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Obviously, like some yeah. instruments are a little bit complicated, maybe, but some some of them complicated, but but the easy ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, should be possible. Yeah, yeah. He's in love. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm jealous now. <laughs> you are taking photo and Habibi <laughs> Halwalad, Habibi, Habibi, Wallah. So nobody is uh, upset. Chef Abdurrahman and everybody is okay. Habibi Halwalad. Very cool. Very nice energy. We are, we are very happy to have you as our partner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I wanted to find a good place where, yes, yes. where it's like, uh, where it makes sense to, yeah, it's very good.
this is the art. room for the art. Yeah. The art room? Like yeah. And oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Art room? <laughs> My brother would love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's too weird. This is That's amazing. Because we needed this uh, art uh, room. Okay. Uh, you know, actually, we were thinking what to do, what to give the place, you know? Yeah. That's amazing. No, they said uh, this is the best place to yeah. do. Actually, we don't have empty places here. Mm, so yeah, we yeah. do something, but still. Yeah. Inshallah, when in the future, we can expand more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we will go to the meeting. Yeah. We are bringing the, this, this. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. Wow, that is amazing. So Thank one you. For you and one for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's a chocolate chip cookie. Then Thank you so much. Chip. That's amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> Very beautiful. I'm here, I'm exactly here. like my logo. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> chup, 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 chup. It's the shape. Same, same. Good job. Thank you so much. You will come. Enjoy. You will come. Okay, we sit there. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, like guys. See okay, you. see you soon. Bye bye. Wow, that's incredible. Nice surprise. Uh, you like it? Yes, of course. This is uh, <laughs> very nice. Very beautiful. Thank you. You can cry out my name, but I'll never take the pain. I'm here today, and now I am proud. Oh, do you have an Arabic coffee? Arabic. Yeah? yeah. Very nice. I remember the Arabic coffee from last time. It was very good. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Was it a nice picture? Oh, cool. Paparazzi. <laughs> nice. You also take your photos? Yeah. You think it's fun? Yeah? That's cool. Editing. Ah, oh, video editing. Yeah? That's cool. Very nice. Nice to see you. And see you next time, yes? Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. See you next time. Yeah, you're doing a very good job here. It's very nice Thank to see you. Okay. See you with my brother next time. Yes. Definitely. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. I had such a good chat with the ladies that are running the center. They're all volunteers. Uh, they are there because they really believe in uh, in people with Down syndrome and they believe that they can help their lives by by um, um, investing their own time into making this center incredible. So, um, well, I can help them. So that's why I decided today that I will uh, uh, give them thousand dollars. And we sat down and we came up with a plan on exactly what they will uh, put the money uh, for. So. For example, it's going to be to improve the kitchen and um, um, also a health club uh, for, for, the, for the children, for the people with Down syndrome and um, a few other things. Um, I will also get them some music instruments and then there are a few other things that um, they have in the plan they want to do and then we will, we will do more things together with them, that's for sure. Um, I was very happy to be there today. Those cookies were insane. It not only looked amazing but it also tasted really, really good. So. Um, thank you for that. That was very, very cool. Um, very nice surprise. We sat down also and talked about how they want to create a website to not only sell cookies, but also sell artwork uh, made by, by the children. And I think that's a great idea because that's a great way that you guys could potentially actually support the center by buying things that are done by the kids. So I think that's an, ins like, it's a perfect idea. So, uh, I will help them out with that as well. Don't forget guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more of my life uh, and if you want to uh, see the, uh, the update from the Down Syndrome Center. It's called the Emirates Down Syndrome uh, Association. Uh, I will leave the link to their website down below. Um, if you want to help them out, you can contact them. Um, if you want to um, donate, you can do so. I would really highly appreciate that and they will appreciate that. That would be very cool. We're going to um, improve the center. So my money will be directly put into good use, uh, which I like because this means that I can also see the improvements. When you give money to big organizations, you cannot really see the updates. But here we can follow the progress and we can see the children 
um, use the things that I'm, I'm actually um, improving and buying for them. So it's, it's incredible. It's perfect. It's actually, it's going to bring joy to the children. It's going to bring joy to everyone who's involved over there. It's going to bring joy to myself and to my little brother who's going to uh, meet them very, very soon. I'm going to uh, bring my brother here to Dubai and meet them over there in the center. It's going to be amazing. If you guys want to get to know my little brother a little bit more, I did make a few vlogs with him already. I will put one of them right here. You can go and click it and I will see you in this vlog. Bye-bye.